Blood clots. What can I do to reduce my risk? Blood clotting is the body's natural way of stopping bleeding. Clotting becomes a problem when it blocks blood flow. Three things contribute to blood clotting. Changes in clotting proteins, damage to blood vessels, and restriction to blood flow. Clots can cause serious problems such as deep vein thrombosis or a pulmonary embolism in your lungs. Most deep vein blood clots occur in the lower leg or thigh. They can also occur in other parts of the body. Being in the hospital is a major risk factor for the development of a blood clot because of decreased mobility due to bed rest or recovery. Other risk factors can also increase your risk of a clot. Your doctor will make sure a plan is in place to help reduce your risk of a blood clot. While you're in the hospital, your doctor will keep checking your risk. Sometimes things change during your stay. For example, you may have to stay longer, which increases your risk. Make sure you tell your healthcare team about anything that feels wrong or different. Measures to reduce your risk may include blood thinning medication, foot exercises and mechanical devices. One of the biggest risk factors for developing a blood clot comes from being immobile. So it's important to get moving as soon as you are able, as long as it is approved by your healthcare team. Ask your doctor if you are still at risk after leaving the hospital. When you leave the hospital, follow your doctor's orders about walking frequently, doing calf exercises and drinking fluids. Make sure you know the warning signs to watch out for and contact your doctor immediately if you have pain, redness, warmth or swelling in your legs or anywhere else on your body, shortness of breath, chest pain, cough, lightheadedness, dizziness or fainting, sweating or rapid or irregular heartbeat. Discussing your risk factors with your doctor before, during and after your hospital stay can help keep you safe from blood clots. Thank you for watching this video.